exciting news. We will talk about the new Bitcoin games that are around where you can earn Bitcoins. We will talk about the Bitcoin exchanges. We will talk about a friend of me that is joining the team of Binance Spain. We are going to talk about how many Bitcoins are leaving the exchanges already since the halving and even earlier since the, the low of $3,700. We are going to talk about the mining business a little bit because miners are selling more than we expected. And then of course we will end with the Bitcoin price and what to expect for the future. And we are even going to compare Bitcoin with all the fiat currencies and we will see some very surprising figures how Bitcoin has been outperforming a lot of stable fiat currencies. Watch the whole episode and be amazed about the beautiful views again in this beautiful island and the beautiful news I'm sharing with you guys while I'm sweating here in the morning. Kopangan, Thailand. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my office on Kopangan here in Thailand. Beautiful beach. It is going to be bloody hot today. The sun is already shining at 8 o'clock in the morning. I am so happy we installed some air conditioning last week. And I don't know if you can see it on the background. You see my sala, it now has a roof so we will be able to chill in my hammock in the shadow while I enjoy this beautiful beach here in Chalak Lam. Today, yes, my own office. Yesterday was a beautiful beach, secret beach that I showed you. I am not able to do this every day, guys, so I will try to do it as much as possible, but please keep following the channel as well for the content and not just for uh, <laughs> the beaches and the views. The first exciting thing that I read today was that there is this cool game now. I think it's called Bitcoin Battle Royale Lightning. This is a game like Fortnite where your avatar needs to destroy other avatars uh, to, you know, to win the game. But in this game now, you're pos it's possible to play with real Bitcoins. And that is really cool. If you all get killed, you lose your sets. If you kill somebody else, you conquer their sets. So you can buy all these, you know, like uh, equipment and guns and all that stuff uh, with sets. So this is a really cool game. I already signed up this morning. I will show you that I signed up. I even paid for it. Yes, I don't get everything for free in life. So, because when I am excited about something, I want to test it. I'm going to test it for you guys. And I'm going to see if I can win some sets. There was another gaming blockchain company that I already tested like many times. I still love what they are doing. It is called PlayDecent.gg. PlayDecent.gg makes it all possible to monetize your gaming skills. You can organize a game with some friends in Fortnite and you say, let's chip in all D bets and then the winner takes the D bets. I think gaming is going to be really big in this industry because most of the people in this industry are still the youngsters and you know, they still play a lot of games. So they will want to monetize their games and they want to accumulate sets. So now they will play games and accumulate sets at the same time. It's one of the biggest industries in the world then that can help the mass adoption of crypto tremendously. Thumbs up for um, PlayDecent.gg, but also for Bitcoin Royal Lightning. Some more news uh, for today, guys, is that we have seen a 43% increase of signups in women at the moment, guys, at exchanges. This is huge news. We already saw that Binance had a new all-time high in uh, signups. And now we can see that the women have increased at 43%, which of course is very, very, very nice because I love women and I love to be surrounded in, by women in this beautiful technical industry. Um, you know, I'm surrounded 24 seven with four women. So, you know, I, uh, I can handle it. You know, the only thing with women is they are a little bit more emotional. So, that makes me a little bit afraid because now these 43% increase of women to exchanges will make the market even more emotional, which will make it maybe even more volatile because <laughs> yeah, you know how women are. <laughs> Guten Morgen. <laughs> yes, there are also Germans on the island, so you see me speaking German as well. 
<laughs> so um, yeah, that was a coincidence. I'm speaking about more women in the industry and then I see this more beautiful German woman. So 43% more women, in my opinion, can make the market a little bit more volatile because of the emotions they have. But on the other hand, I am very happy because I'm surrounded with four women, which makes it really cool now because now my four women can start to make Bitcoin instead of just spending Bitcoin. How beautiful is it? I have three daughters and a wife. They will now all join exchanges and they want to start and they are going to start to make Bitcoins instead of spending it. This is huge news for me guys. I'm going to be a billionaire in a few years times because my girls are going to be the best traders out there. That's why I signed them up for a trading course at CryptoQ University. They need to start to learn the technicals of trading, but also how to control their emotions. That was the woman part of today. You can see I'm a happy man with all these women in my life. <laughs> yeah, I just talked about Binance. You know, I have some amazing news. One of my great crypto friends, Louis Vallo, uh, he lives in Spain. I met him a few times in his, in his former company, Bitnovo. I'm a huge ambassador for Bitnovo because they simplify buying Bitcoin. They are providing more than 60,000 stores um, in Italy, Spain and France where people now can buy Bitcoin with cash by buying some simple coupons in these stores, in huge stores like the FNAC, the Carrefour. And you know, you buy Bitcoins with a coupon and then you go home and you cash the coupon into your Bitcoin wallet. So Bitnovo was for me a big, big player in the market. I am very proud um, that I met Louis at this company, but now I'm even more proud because Louis I want to congratulate you with becoming the new director of Binance Spain. Yes, you heard this right. Louis now became the director of Binance Spain, which is a huge step for him. Congratulations, my friend. The first time I will be in Spain again, I will visit you and at your office and I will bring you a good bottle of rum or whatever you want to drink and we will drink it together to celebrate this huge step in your career. Congratulations, Louis Vallo. Okay, so now we're talking about uh, exchanges. So let's talk a little bit more about exchanges because after the halving, we saw that more, t more than $200 million worth of BTC left the exchanges. Do you think this is a lot after the halving? No, it isn't because if you look back to where Bitcoin was 3,700 in the beginning of this year, from that moment on, already 1.7 billion dollar worth of Bitcoin left the exchanges. You might think this is negative, but I think this is very positive because this tells me that the people that took those 1.7 billion of the exchanges probably into their hardware wallet have a lot of trust in the market. They expect Bitcoin to go into a bull run. Why else would you take your Bitcoins from the exchange into your hardware wallet because you know it's a rule in crypto never keep all your bitcoins on exchanges because we have seen in the past that even exchanges can be hacked or have problems or even stop so very important hold all your bitcoins on a hardware wallet where you have the full control on your private keys there are also software wallets that give you the full control like light.im so that one is also a good wallet the important message is that you have full control on your private key. People just really expect Bitcoin to go into the next bull run, are not prepared to sell their Bitcoins at the moment. And you know what happens when people are not uh, prepared to sell their Bitcoins? It's very easy. Then the supply of Bitcoin decreases. And if you at the same time have a halving with the miners create less supply every day of Bitcoins into the market, then the supply will even decrease with more because less Bitcoins are being created daily and will have the opportunity of going into the market and people tend to hold all their Bitcoins on their wallets and just not selling them. So the, the supply of Bitcoins onto the market is decreasing and you can guess what I'm going to say now, the demand is hugely increasing. Google all-time search results, new all-time signups in uh, Binance and other exchanges. So. The demand is increasing hugely. The supply is decreasing. What does this do normally with the price? Normally, 
this makes the price go up. Let's say it is a coincidence that the price has been going up after each halving. So now again, a very bullish indicator that Bitcoin will not go down, but up if you zoom out and look at the long term. And the long term for me now is the next one and a half year. Then there is some more miners news, guys, because the miners have sold more Bitcoins than they did in the last halvings. So the last halvings, they waited a few months with selling their Bitcoins. This halving, they started to sell their Bitcoins directly after the halving. After the halving now, they sold 620 Bitcoins more than they were mined. So that this means that they are even selling their Bitcoin stock at the moment because, you know, you cannot sell what you don't have. So they piled up a lot of Bitcoins, they mined Bitcoins, and in total now they sold 620 more Bitcoins than they had. So this is an indicator that the miners started to dump their Bitcoins. If they will continue dumping their Bitcoins into the market because the price won't increase, then we can see a bigger crash in Bitcoins, which is a warning. So make sure you look at the flow of the BTC into the market from the mining companies. And then you can even, you know, have a good indicator if there will be a crash soon or not. Because it's very important for the miners that the Bitcoin price will go up. And if the Bitcoin price will go up, they will not dump their Bitcoins. If the Bitcoin price will go down, they will need to dump their Bitcoins because, you know, they have their monthly cost as well. They have their families that want to eat. Well, so it's just economics, guys. It's just economics. So now that we are talking about the Bitcoin price, let's continue on the Bitcoin price, guys, because um, that is what you mostly are waiting for in these videos, of course, because everybody is exciting to hear what the Bitcoin price will do. When it comes to the Bitcoin uh, price, guys, we are still finding support in this uh, ascending trend line on the four hour chart, which is amazing. We even broke 9K again this morning. So I think we are at about $9,300 now at the moment. So, which is also really bullish. Um, again, I talked a lot of times about this. We saw the seven weekly green candles in a row, um, which we only saw a few times. And every time we saw these seven weekly green candles, we saw a huge bull run after. Just check this uh, graph uh, down here. Um, we have seen the seven we weekly green candles. We have seen the weekly red candle, doji candle, um, following up the seven green candles. The red doji means the market is indecisive. Do we go up? Do we go down? And after this red one, there is another green one uh, building up now. And this is exactly what happened after the other seven weekly green candles in a row, and which was followed by a huge run up. So this is very bullish if it comes to the price for me. So I expect Bitcoin to go up more and more and more. Still, I hold about 25% in stable currency because if I see a dip again, I will buy some more Bitcoins. If we look at the price, we can also see this uh, chart fractal. And if we compare this fractal of 2019 with what is happening at the moment, this is indicating that we could see 14K Bitcoin even faster than we could expect because the, the fractal is exactly the same as in 2019 check the chart and you can see here that if we would follow the rest of this fractal we will end up at 14k Bitcoin again which is a very important price why because then the miners would be in profit so I hope you get the big picture because I'm very <laughs> I'm not really organized in my stories, but all the signs are telling us that Bitcoin is going up, that we will break the 10.5k resistance, that we even will go up to 11k before we come down a little bit to go to 14k. Because then, if this will happen in the next two, three months, the miners will be happy because they will be mining cost efficient and, you know, they will even be making profit. The community will be happy because they had a good reason to huddle Bitcoin and they will see uh, their value of uh, their portfolio value increase as well. We are also now above the 50 weekly moving average, which is also a positive indicator for the run up. So, man, yeah, I, I just can't get bearish at the moment. There are too many signs that have been telling me we will go up. Just zoom out. 
Don't look at the five minute chart, 10 minute chart, 15 minute chart, you know, one hour chart. Yes, that's nice to see, but you get stressed out of it. Just zoom out, look at the bigger picture and just believe what history has shown us and believe that this history will repeat again. For now, for me, the trend is up and I will follow the trend and I will hold my Bitcoins, accumulate more Bitcoins to increase the value of my portfolio. A very important other thing, guys, is that, you know, COVID is a huge influence on the economical situation worldwide. And that is what we can see, you know? And every time there is a crisis, we need to hatch into some safe haven. And what is a store of value? A store of value is an asset that doesn't lose too much of your capital because of an inflation because of the crisis. And let me tell you one very positive thing about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has even been outperforming a lot of fiat currencies at the moment and not the least fiat currencies. If you took a look at Bitcoin, it has outperformed the Brazilian real with 75%. It has outperformed the Russian ruble with almost 45%. It has outperformed the South African rent with more than 60%. It has outperformed the Turkish lira with more than 45%. And yes, it even outperformed our US dollar with more than 20%. So in my opinion, Bitcoin, yes, is a safe haven. Many bullish signs for me, guys. I'm not becoming bearish. I think Bitcoin will do what it did before. It will go up and, um, you know, show us a new all-time high in uh, 2021. So that was all the news of today, guys. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button. Some people have said, said to me that you can't hit the bell button. I corrected this a few times, so it should be possible now. If not, just let me know in the comments. Guys, I wish you an amazing day. Live this day to the fullest. Yes, at the same time, chill, relax, zoom out, Take a look at the market. Take a look at life in a bigger picture. And I, guys, see you tomorrow again. Bye. Bye. Take care.